Also in the news, a man accused of murdering a married couple from Dallas County is off the streets tonight. Jeffrey Dale Lee Stevenson was taken into custody in his hometown of Max Creek yesterday and is booked now in the Camden County Jail. He's charged with second degree murder in the killing of Joseph and Brandy Allen at their home in Tunis. A second suspect is still on the run. And this Colorton follow up report, Aubrey Douglas was in Buffalo and is here now to tell us how the arrest was made and how locals are reacting. They told me they're relieved at least one suspect was caught, but they say they'll still be cautious since the other suspect is on the run, who the Dallas County Sheriff Scott Rice calls armed and dangerous. That makes me kind of nervous, but I got a couple of dogs that, and I keep my house locked. Darlene Skopik can remember a time when Dallas County was a safe place to live. We never ever locked our doors or had to lock our cars. Now the talk amongst her friends at the Ingalls Memorial Senior Center is how there is a killer on the run. Be very aware. Just extra precautions, you know, just look over your shoulder. Sheriff Rice says the suspects didn't know the Allens, calling this a random act of violence and a robbery gone bad. In the early hours of Sunday morning, the suspects are accused of trying to steal the Allens' cars. Well, they broke into the uh, shop, broke into the shop building. Oh, okay. And it was just by the luck of the draw, they found something pretty nice. After a four day search and tracking down nearly 100 leads, one of the suspects, who Sheriff Rice called armed and dangerous, was caught. Jeffrey Stevenson was found in his hometown of Max Creek. It went smoothly. There was no altercation. Great. I really have high respect for our sheriff's department and local police department. They go above and beyond. They did pretty fast work to get it caught. Stevenson is being held in the Camden County Jail without bond. Sheriff Rice says his department is looking for 22 year old Billy Sage Medley. Court records show his fingerprint matched one found on a shotgun owned by the Allens. In Buffalo, Bria Douglas, Ozarks First.